My mother was adamant that we all had to study music. So I'm the youngest of five children, and we all studied piano. And I loved music and loved film, and I always loved writing and literature. So it, it wasn't my family's profession. Actually, I come from a, a family of mostly law enforcement professionals. <laughs> <laughs> quite the, the opposite of, of ballet and, and, and dance, but um, my parents were supportive. So they, uh, you know, I was, again, I was about nine, nine going on 10. And at my grammar school, uh, some of the girls were taking uh, tap, tumbling, and toe. <laughs> And, and oh, well, you know, of course, when I started taking classes at the Ellis Dubois School, you could never say toe, it's always point. So I've never used the word toe since then. Uh, but it was, yeah, tap, tumbling, and toe, and jazz. And uh, it was a small school in my neighborhood. And I uh, just started taking on the classes, and I just, I loved ballet. And I, I'm not quite sure why I loved it so much. Maybe it was suited to my aesthetic or my sensibilities. Um, I think I was just exposed to it, and I, I, I loved the line and... The, the elegance of it. My aesthetic did change <laughs> over the course of many years. Uh, and then, um, you know, I transitioned to another school. It was a smaller school. Uh, loved performing on stage at that, at that time. Uh, and um, then even into, you know, like high school, college, I, I studied. But I also went to a lot of the... Um, Oh, what were they called? Like dance conventions? The, the dance conventions at the time, conferences, where uh, I I studied, you know, for a, a weekend at the Ambassador East or the Ambassador West Hotel here in Chicago, and um, you know, certainly my the bulk of my training is with uh, Richard Ellis and Christine Dubolet Ellis. I also studied at the Ruth Page School and the Lou Conti Studio, and I took classes in New York with David Howard and the Joffrey over there. So, so I, I come from a dance background, but you're probably wondering, well, why didn't I become a dancer? How did I become a writer? Well, from about the age of 12, I decided that I loved writing so much that I basically said to my parents, I want to become a dance and theater critic. Is, well, how do you do that? <laughs> Are there programs out there to study this? Of course, in the 1970s, 80s, there were, were not. And so I had to take it upon myself in, in a way to, to teach um, myself in a way. And um, I started out by creating a scrapbook. And I just started collecting articles. So I was reading critiques in the Chicago Tribune and the Chicago Sun-Times. I subscribed to Dance Magazine and Ballet News. And so I was this voracious reader. So I was just, you know, reading as much as I could. And then uh, I, you know, I also love theater so and music and opera and art and design. So it, it all comes together in the dance world. Um, everyone works together. It's a great collaboration. So uh, I was able to combine so many of my loves.